thank you dear mothers and this brings us to an end of the inaugural i would like to thank all my dear respected seniors and colleagues who have joined us today we are so thankful for your presence and we learn every day from each other and i hope that god will be gracious enough to allow us that privilege let me introduce our uh, respected judges miss nivedita from delhi is a freelance artist and she aims to pass on this legacy of her learning to our young budding artists of today miss navya is a promising artist and young achiever so we are very lucky and uh, grateful to you ma'am to be here with us and my greetings to our shortlisted candidate the participants which have already submitted their designs and will now be recreating their submitted designs in front of the judges so participants best of luck so we have dps rudrapur with code sam 017 little angels high school with code sam 030 city montessori lda campus with code sam 016 and city montessori chalk campus with code sam020 wonderful effort you know it's at least to a layman like me it's it's so engaging and so beautiful uh, i know our judges speak from um, uh, an artist artistic perspective but i feel that everyone has put in a lot of efforts and we applaud that efforts can uh, we all put our hands together for these budding talented people who have come online who have taken up the challenge of entering a virtual arena and uh, showcasing their talents thank you we hope the best entry win i welcome you all to the sam event of tongue tinglers a day without prayer is a day without blessings so please join us for the school prayer Would you please tell me what's your dish? Ma'am, it is the Austrian immunity delight. Mhm. Mm uh I mean what type of is it a dessert or is it a main dish what is it ma'am it is a soup fantastic so would you please uh, describe your dish once with the name of the ingredients it's a really delicious soup and uh, it is really hydrating and made up of everything that has uh, antioxidants and good bacteria i have used curd curd has good antioxidants and a number of good bacteria and cucumber uh, cucumber is 96% water so it is uh, it will help you in keeping yourself hydrated and full and i have used some dill leaves that is soya 
and uh, some uh, mint leaves that are really refreshing and this soup will uh, boost your immune immunity along with refreshing you so you got a book four dishes one is uh, in this platter it consists of small small four dishes so i have made this berry beetroot smoothie escape uh, white bean greenology ecstatic lamajoon and drive by choco baklava drinks can you describe your dishes a little bit yes ma'am uh, ma'am this is a uh, smoothie which is made up of curd uh, strawberries beetroot some nuts some uh, strawberries and this is a salad which is made up of veggies white bean uh, oil uh, uh, olive oil and uh, lemon some pepper some salt and this is a uh, sweet dish this is a baklava uh, in which i have made a uh, fill of pastry shell uh, it is pre made and i have uh, used some cherries and uh, coconut and uh, fruits to garnish it and this is a lamazoon in, in which i have used a flat bread on which i have spread tomato paste and uh, some cheese wrapped in Uh, vegetables and egg white what was your inspiration for this food ma'am turkish uh, recipes are so healthy and so nice that it it is like when i saw it it was like just i want to make it it's so yummy and so delicious this has a lot of layers it is it's ha it has coleslaw salad which is filled in cucumbers then it has sprouts which has a uh, lemon and sweet onion sauce we have carrots and uh, the variations that i've added are hung curd instead of mayonnaise which is much healthier and we have used honey instead of sugar then we have a layer of paneer uh, which is a local food of punjab uh, and punjab is famous for the dairy uh, dairy products uh, here i have peeled Uh, peels of tomatoes which are in the shape of a rose ma'am this is uh, the desert version of koshari which is the national dish of egypt like basically koshari is made with rice because the egyptians are very fond of rice and then when they came to india they were introduced to the lentils and all so they like those beans and then they uh, included that in their dish so uh, what they do is they assemble some rice upon that they assemble the beans and then the pasta they went to italy and they liked it so they assemble some pasta on their national dish and then they just garnish it with some fried onions and the national dish is re uh, ready and this is hawashi uh, it is the uh, egyptian sandwich and i filled it with some cabbage and cauliflower salad it is having curd which is very healthy then here is the karkar which is the egyptian tea and it it is made up of hibiscus it is uh, used uh, in egypt because it prevents hypertension and then here is the limonana which is known as the lemon and mint it is having mint and lemon as well as orange orange and lemon are high in vitamin c and then i've garnished it with some basil leaves and here we have uh, the chocolate shake uh, i've made it by just adding some cocoa powder in milk and then i've added some sugar like as you can see uh, these colors represent the flag of egypt as well as these three beverages as well
my as uh, my uh, country was madagascar as you can see ma'am i have shown the emotion you don't have, there is nothing to be explained but i am explaining ma'am let's look ma'am the emotions are coming from head and and it showed that uh, everything ma'am uh, the sport at uh, the topic was uh, sam i used the sam topic ma'am everything is everything emotions are over here and colors are the big definition of emotions so i have used colors show the def, uh, emotions and butterflies we uh, without emotion the mind is just nothing we can say that and uh, my to- my country was madagascar and as it was not so vast country and we don't know it so i just want to tell that it's uh, the culture is very nice over there and we want we should know about it and so because of that i have shown the wood carving over there and i have written over here also the wood carving the rugby the use that's very popular over there and uh, you can see everything the country allotted to me was sweden sri lanka and our culture get mixed up and mam mam the the essence of that uh, that culture uh, can be just uh, uh, mam can be stop uh, blending by the boundaries of uh, of our country mam i have taken the topic when you lose yourself who knows what you might find in mam in this i have made this girl in which she uh, she herself looks like a normal human being but in the picture that she has drawn over here you know, she looks very creative her hairs are in different different colors it shows that how beautiful her soul is she is very passionate about her work and is very creative i have drawn this earth with beautiful eyes which tells us to see the world with with different our own creativity and our different thoughts and this is Uh, a picture of a girl a uh, two girls which uh, think very differently welcome to the sam online international event covid rhapsody i welcome our honored guest mr prateek gupta who is judge to the event i'm proud to tell you that he has been a student as well as faculty in music Uh, at CMS Kanpur Road branch and Rajaji Puram as well he has an experience of almost 15 years performing on the stage and has worked with maestros like Amir Khan Farhan Akhtar Zubin Nautial and many more okay i think we can start now the uh, participants you can be heard so sam 016 you may start this is a message to our hearts and souls Now, now, here comes the hope, the rays and roar. Yeah, we got the daylight. Come, come, we've got the height to reach the sky and kill this COVID. No need to give up this. We know the past and life falls from sky. So let's make a bright day, clear the night, sing no more COVID. But don't forget the ones who risk their lives every day and the night just for the longer lives, fighting to die in this long and harsh time. We are Team Zero One Five performing before you. It is very well said. Life is one grand sweet song. So let us get started. Covid nineteen is serious. It has changed our lives so much. We all now feel anxious about where we go and what we touch. Covid nineteen is serious. It has changed our lives so much. We all now feel anxious. Where we go and what we touch. I miss my friends and family, but we are still safe and well. We will not let this beat us. Go and take the risk we can. We've been told to get home and to venture around. To take the nuts, exercise, cause the travel not done. Told. Stay at home and not to enter a rut. The office is empty, most people are not there. Many men are about to get some of it. The guests are abandoned. I wish you were back. I saw a few faces at the bank of the town. The people are operating on the front line. Many hospitals are in the front line. Many nurses are 
Apart from this one, I'm going to talk about this one. We will be turning up until the retreat. I like the one. I like the one. We are from team 034 and myself Vidushi, myself Sara Mishra, myself Neeti Agarwal, myself Raghav Jain. on this let's just call upon the almighty to bless our efforts so uh, we will be having the school prayer before we launch into the details of the proceedings today Purushottam Bhagchand ka Academy Kolkata had done during this time of the pandemic. Let's watch the presentation they have sent to us. The teacher's relation with chalk and board is eternal. Suddenly, a huge change came about in the year 2020. The whole world came to a halt. people were confined to their home and they were fighting for their survival at that time we teachers of pbas were thinking about our students we upgraded ourselves and accomplished the journey from blackboard and chalk to keyboard and monitor we learned practiced and perfected ourselves to reach out to our children Hello everyone. How are you all? Hope you all are doing good. Okay. So today your Pritha ma'am is not alone. Today we have one new member that is Mr. Plus. Say hello Mr. Plus. Hi. Okay. Today Mr. Plus is going to have fun with numbers. See coffee mug. See the bright yellow color mugs. Are here with us. Okay, so children, see, three mugs are here and one mug is here. One, two, three. One, two, three plus one makes how much? Four. Three plus one makes four. One, two, three, four. All in all, we have. Four months. Oh. Good morning, children. How are you? I hope I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to do opposites. Now, what are opposites, children? Opposites are words which are just different from the other. Okay. So today, through activity, we will learn how to learn the opposites. Okay. Let's get started. Ta 
Now let's see this children, what is this? Can you all see this? This is ice. And if I put my finger inside it, oh, it's cold. So this is cold. And what is this children? This is water. Let me feel it. Oh, it's hot. So what are the two opposites which we know? Hot and cold. Now let's see this. Let's see this glasses. This is a tall glass. And can you see this? It's a shot. So tall and shot. And now we have CMS Aliganj 1. Let's go to the Triptid Museum. I have always wanted to take my kids to a museum. I didn't know that they existed online. 100% free. You can go to their website and you can explore the museum as you're walking through it. So this is a pretty amazing opportunity. It was really impressive. With this, you can now explore each floor. You can click on certain mark and that will take you to the entire museum. And not only that, you can zoom in and see things closer. You can read all the description that are here too. As if you're walking through the museum, which I found quite amazing. So if you want to learn about something in detail, you can go ahead and zoom in and read whatever information they have written there. I highly recommend you to go to the second floor in to check out the skeleton exhibit. Another good thing about this website is that you can look at current display and past display as they part of the museum something you heard about you can go back and check out you can also do that i really liked the details on it you can actually feel like reality look at this really skeleton they have done an amazing job and this one i highly recommend so this is very informative for the children thank you augmented reality this is for parents, it's for homeschoolers, it's for teachers and it's for all about augmented reality which is really good. How you say augmented reality? You think you need a special headset, special goggles, special equipments? No, not for this one. This is for any device. You heard me right. This is for any device. Let's see. So this is totally a great resource to use and if you want an integrate technology into your homeschool plans, you want to use for your supplementary resource, this will be a great app because it gives you really nice visual or model to look at, especially if you're exploring something specific. All you have to do is set up an account like I have done here, it's really fast and easy. And you just logged into your personal dashboard and from this dashboard you have all the subjects visible architecture, art, astronomy, biology, chemistry, history, science. A section below here divided by age range. You can even click on the menu relevant AR models. You can see the solar system or even Mount Rushmore. This is really good because you can get up close to any object you wish to. This is Mount Rushmore. You can zoom in, you can move it around with your mouse, you can get a really good look. Check up this close up. Now let's check out this human skeleton head. How amazing is it? Right up the closure again. Another good feature on this. You can click on this and see in your real virtual world. Just click this button down here and you can actually show the model in your own surrounding. You can bring the actual model to your own surrounding like this. Have a look. Isn't it interesting? Do you all know kids really love space? So this is a good website to visit Mars. Let's move.